congratulations. May I ask the question, why your last fights are kind of very entertaining, very fast change of positions, you know, very dynamic. Is it more interesting for you to fight that way? Well, I cannot say if it is more interesting or less interesting than how it happens. And I could feel actually chill. I could see all his movements and try to react in time. Thank you for the question. As for permanent changing of positions, that's how it happened, how the fight went. Uh, Fado, Scott Coker just said you're the best fighter ever. Many people agree with that. Who do you say is the best fighter ever? Well, I liked really very much Ken Velasquez, but he's not fighting nowadays, I guess. When, when Chael dove off of your back, was that surprising at all to you? Because he had your back and tried to roll you over, like Leo Vieira, like he said, but it didn't work, obviously. No, I was not, I was not surprised actually, and I work in all different positions, so that's why I have to feel really good in all the positions. Chell is a very good fighter, and we were prepared for that. Wrestler. Um, congratulations again. Um, you're not a man who shows a lot of emotion, but did we see a little bit afterwards tonight, a little bit of happiness, more smiles from you after the event, and if so, why? I'm very grateful to God that he gifted me this very victory. That's why certainly I'm happy. I know how many people prayed for me and cheered for me. And I'm very grateful to everybody. Thanks, God. Федор, видели, видели ли вы бой а, Райана а, и что, да, Бейдера, и что вы ожидаете, как бы, от этого боя? Будет ли он такой же, как он был? Нет, я не видел бой пока, но в ближайшее время его посмотрим. Uh, I haven't seen uh, the fight yet, but I definitely will watch it at nearest time. Прошу прощения за то, что немножко небольшой спойлер будет. Райан Бейдер переводил более тяжелого, чем он соперника, с большой легкостью, и Мэтт Митрей он тяжелее, и чем вы тоже. До боя три месяца, как вы будете строить подготовку с учетом того, что будет соперник, который очевидно будет настроен на то, что переводить вас? So there are only three months before the fight, and uh, Ryan Bader actually tried to put the opponent on the canvas. And if taking that into consideration, how you're going to be preparing for this very fight? You know, we take into consideration uh, the specialities and certain features of all the opponents we uh, meet. Like 
We were preparing for this very fight, taking into consideration very strong sides of Chell. Uh, the same will happen actually during the preparation uh, for the fight with Bader. So me and my team so will make the necessary conclusions. Certainly there will be a lot of attention given to the work on the ground, on the canvas. Are you going to have same sparring partners or there will be somebody different? I just came out of the fight. May I have some time, please? <laughs> so, because next time we'll see maybe you only in three months. If you are not going to be that notorious, maybe we'll see each other, each other a little bit earlier. Uh, Fedor, uh, last time you took a break from the sport, you were kind of on a low point. Now you're on a high point. Any chance you beat Beta, you win the title, and you say, hey, perfect way to end my career and, and retire? Uh, you know, everything depends on how I am feeling, you know, how my foot health is. And that's why I think I will be able to answer this very question after the fight. If Ryan Bader, just in case he won't be able to make it for the fight, Sergei Minak uh, Minakov and Haritonov, do you review them as possible opponents, the substitute for Bader? It's very often journalists ask the word questions. What if? What if? Let us talk about that in case such a situation happens. But actually, uh, I did request from Scott Cocker not to put Russian opponents for me. Thanks God, during my career I did have fights with Russian fighters. And uh, by the end of my career, I wouldn't like, you know, just to fight Russian fighter. Oh, Fyodor, what, what, uh, do you have any schedule? What uh, do you have scheduled after the fight? You know, do you come back home or do you go to travel somewhere? Do you participate in some MMA event somewhere or in Russia? Thank you very much for the question. Yeah, my family is waiting for me. My girls. And certainly the Russian MMA Union. And right now when I come back home, I will try to give the maximum of attention to my family and MMA Union. Peter, why is it your preference not to fight Russian fighters at this stage in your career? You know, uh, God managed it that way that uh, during my uh, career I didn't have to fight Russian fighters. And I did have a lot of Russian fighters, a lot personally. And you know, for me it's not that important how they look at me, how they treat me. For me, it's very important my attitude towards them. 
That's why at the very end of my career, I would prefer not to. Plus, it's not like really a very sharp question or problem. Fader, you've accomplished a lot in your career, and where do you think uh, being a Bellator champion would rank uh, in your you know, career uh, accomplishments? Well, first of all, I'm not the champion of Bellator. Yeah. <laughs> Well, first of all, you have to fight for this title. And you have to earn it. And after the next fight, we'll get together and discuss this. If we win. Thanks. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. Last question.